So we're talking in terms of a government. And um, we're he's talking about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is coming. Jesus preached in Matthew's gospel, chapter 6 and verse 10. Pray thy kingdom come, thy what? Will be done where? On earth. In earth as it is in heaven. All right? said in earth. All right. Now, let's look at Isaiah 8 and 18. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders in Israel. Isn't that powerful? The children that the Lord has given me. So we can see that we, many times he calls us little children. And if you know anything about child and growth of a child, you get a child from, from zero to seven years old and nine years old, their subconscious is completely open, meaning that whatever is poured in there is what they believe. And um, he calls us little children because when we get born again, then we are starting all over again yeah. in terms yeah. of this birth and what we're able to receive. All right. Now, let's go over here to Isaiah and Isaiah chapter 46. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there's uh, none else. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from uh, ancient times, the things, things um, that, are, that are not yet seen. And he says, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. All right, now that's kind of where we left off last time, but let's go over here, if you will, to Ephesians. In Ephesians and chapter five. Ephesians chapter five. Okay, in Ephesians chapter five. And he says, be ye therefore, what? Followers of God as what? Dear, children. Dear who? Children. children. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's have somebody over here. It's got an iPad. It's got a, uh, okay, come on. And uh, look up that same scripture in the Amplified Translation. Let's just see what that scripture says. I get a microphone out here. Uh, okay. Just, uh, you can probably just speak it into my microphone. Just go ahead and talk loud enough. Praise God. Therefore, be <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, you don't have to. I feel too loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was crazy. It's all right, Doc. I, okay, that's okay. You. <laughs> all right, amen. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, be imitators of God, copy him, and follow his example. As well-beloved children, imitate their father. Now do that again. Read that whole thing again. Now listen at this now. Therefore, be imitators of God, copy him, and follow his example. As well-beloved children imitate their father. Okay. Read it one more time. <laughs> therefore, be imitators. Wait a minute. Whenever you find therefore, what are you going to find, what find out what is there for? Keep going. Be imitators of God. Be imitators of who? God. God. Copy him. Copy him. And follow his example. Follow his example. Keep going. As well-beloved children imitate their father. Give him a hand clap. Here's a hundred dollars. Thank you. Sir. Now, 
When God was creating the world, um, the way he did it was with words. He spoke. Let there be light. The literal translation says, he said, light be, and light was. Now, where was light before it was here on the earth? Where was it? It was in God. So he had something formed inside of him before he spoke it out. Now, it says for us to do what? Imitate him. Now, the way he got it there is with words. Is with words. And you and I are going into a season where we are going into our full potential. The highest level of spiritual life. To speak things into existence. And you remember when Moses was bringing the children of Israel through the wilderness, they wanted water and God told him to take the stick and hit the rock and the water came out. Am I right? <clears throat> but now the next time they wanted water, he didn't give them those same instructions. What did he tell them to do? Speak to, well, speak to it. And when he would speak to it, God said, water will come out. But Moses got frustrated. He was angry at the, at the children of Israel. He called them rebels. You rebels. And then instead of speaking to the rock, what did he do with it? He struck that rock. And when he struck that rock, did water come out? Yeah. But was that the will of God? No. So next thing you know, God tells him, you're not going. And I think you can get into a place where people who don't have any faith try to frustrate your faith. It could be in your own house. Come on, help me now. It could be at the job, whatever have you. But don't let that happen. And the way you can keep that from happening is keep a perfect picture of where you're going. And that's what we talked about last time. So here is Joseph in Genesis chapter 37. And Joseph has a dream. What does he do? He told it to his brothers. Mm -hmm. Then God gave him a second dream. Now this is, he saw his brothers bowing down to him. Yeah. Now, what was this? This was God's plan for his life. Yeah. God saw the future yeah. and showed him. Yeah. That's right. And one of the jobs of the Holy Spirit is to see your future yes. and show you. And I mentioned that last time that um, I said that one person really did a good job of this in one of his partner letters, uh, Rick Renner. And it's talking about the Holy Spirit. This is coming out of 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14. And call the Holy Spirit what um, the Greek calls partner. Or the word was kononia. And the job of the Holy Spirit is to help you. Amen. And to help you get from where you are 
to where God plans for you to go. And so what he does is he actually can uh, show you things to come. And when he shows you these things to come, then there is a peace inside of you that can only come from that. And when you have that peace, excuse me, when you have that peace, you can go from here to there. Even though people try to harass you on the way. Your destiny has already been confirmed. And you will make it to the other side. Say amen to that. See, what you see is what you believe. And you are not designed to say boldly what you believe. You declare something boldly unless you believe it. So I've got to get in this Bible and I've got to wait till I believe. And he, he talked about, you know, presumptuous faith. That, that wasn't God at all. But what you do is let the Holy Spirit paint a picture in here. And, and that's a confirmation, Lord have mercy. All right, let me, let me keep going here. So what we said is about Jesus, that Jesus was, uh, the Bible says, for the joy that was set before him, Jesus endured the cross, despising the shame, and was set down at the right hand of God. So here is Jesus, but we showed you in Mark chapter 10, verse 34, how Jesus saw his destiny. He said, now they're going to, you know, arrest me. They're going to beat me. They're going to spit on me and they're going to kill me. But in three days, I'm coming up. Now, I know this, this sounds really elementary, but it is profound. It is profound. When you can see where you go and you got no problem going there, especially where, if where you're going is going to be a great benefit to you. And that's what you want to do. So you want to get in this and I, had a little book called The Missing Link of Meditation because that's the way God taught me to get there. All right, here's here's a case in point. Now, I'm going to give you this. I got a lot of stuff here. I need to stick with my notes. Um, Flo, okay, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Praise God. Hold on, just, just, just stay with me now. <clears throat> you cannot take delivery of what you cannot see. You cannot take delivery of what you cannot see. Over in Revelation, in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these. You're just going to have to look it up and trust me. Um, Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. He talks about your inheritance. And he said, your inheritance. And, and he said, you know, your inheritance is power, is riches, it's, it's honor, it's all that. Now, all that's yours. But if you can't see it, you can't have it. All, right. All that is yours, but if you can't see it, you can't have it. Now let's go over to Genesis and Genesis and chapter, and I'm going somewhere with all of this. Yes, Genesis chapter 13, please. All right, Genesis chapter 13. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
I said, glory to God. All right, in Genesis chapter 13, I got it here somewhere, praise God. He talks in here about, that's seven, um, the fact, it took, took uh, Abraham, talking to Abraham now, and he said to Abraham, Genesis, thir Genesis chapter 13 and verse 14. All right, where are you? I guess a new Bible, I'm trying to break this thing in. New, he said, well, I, I'll tell you what it says. I know what it says. I said, I know what it says. Yes. All right, That's 11. Just a minute, I want, I want to share this with you. We're going to do this thing. Because you're going to get your money. All right. And he says here, um, uh, Genesis chapter 20 and 14. Uh, did I say 13 and 14? Yes. Yeah. All right. He says uh, this. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just a new Bible. Just a minute. Come on. Bible. Wait well, just a minute. I'll go get my other one. I brought two. Uh, Sister Copeland taught me how to bring more. <laughs> No, she's got a lot of reference material. But he says here that, that after Lot was separated from Abraham, he said, lift up now thou now. It's okay, I see it there. Uh, uh, and look northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. That's what he said to him. Am I right about it? All right, so... You're not going to get what you can't see. Even though Jesus died to provide it, he provided uh, riches, he provided honor, he provided power, he provided all of that is ours. But you're not going to get what you can't see. When Adam was before the fall, he functioned by revelation, not information. All right. good. That's good. Mankind has fallen to information. But whoever has revelation is going to dominate. It's the rhema yeah. of God. Notice yeah. Brother Hagin all these years of his ministry, he had ministry and he taught Mark 11, 23 and 24. Yeah. But he named the school Rhema. Yeah. Because revelation is the most valuable asset in the school of faith. Amen. You got to see it. And what happens with a lot of believers is they hear some good preaching, but they don't take time to take it through the process by which it transfers from their head down into their heart. So what happens is we end up staying where we are. He's got the riches up there. He's talking about riches, folks. He's talking about riches. He said in Deuteronomy, what, chapter 28? Uh, I think it's verse 11. I'll make you plenteous in goods. You remember that? In chapter 12, I think uh, verse 12, he said, I'll, 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 uh, I'll make you the lender and not the borrower. Watch this. He said, I'll have you lending to many nations. I'll have you lending to many nations. You know what that means? That means you will have enough to help another nation meet their budget. He's not talking about one or two of you. He's talking about everybody. everybody yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. And then watch this. In verse 13, he says, you will be the head and not the tail. Am I right about it? He said, you'll be what? Above only and not beneath. That means every place that God sends you. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. 
you're going to be the wealthiest person there. Now, now, now see, you, you, what you got to do is you got to, first of all, know that that's in the word of God. If it's in the word of God, it is part of your promise. And if it's part of your promise, then what you revelate, you can receive. And so what has happened is we've not done that. We've not taken that next step because God wants it so that the poor don't have to be uh, supported by the federal government. He wants the government of the kingdom. Why? So that they can see who God really is. Are y'all with me here? Now, how do you qualify for this? You got to get born again. He said over in John 3, 3, when you're born again, you'll see uh, the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is self-contained. Lord Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm moving too fast here. All right, let's just say with Revelation first. As far as you can see, I'm going to give it to you. Let, let's reverse it. If you can't see it, can't have it. Not, 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 listen, God, it's not up to God. It's not up to God. Jesus has died it and put it away for you. And now this putting it away is yours and he's made it so the devil can't touch it. But you can get it transferred to you through revelation. Revelation brings a revolution. When you've got revelation of what your rights are, hey, let me tell you, if somebody comes in here and gets your coat, and, 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 and take it while, let's say you're away or gone for a moment and you tell somebody to watch my coat. Well, somebody comes right by and just pick that coat and walk off. They'll say, oh, oh, wait, wait. And, and, and they'll say something, you know, whatever. But, but because it's not their coat, they, they don't have a certain level of interest. But when you know it's your coat, say amen to that. And revelation transmits ownership. It, it lets you know, have mercy. Come on, help me. I'm going to get you there because I'm going there. <laughs> Healing. Same thing. See, everything Jesus did, he saw. And he was telling us, just wait a minute. Wait till the Lord tells you to do something. Well, he'll tell you to do something through putting it inside of you. Stay there. Stay with me now. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, let me back up here. Let me back up because I'm, I'm finding myself, I, I, I can't, this ain't no struggle. What, once revelation comes, struggle leaves. <laughs> Satan comes the blind, the what? M- mind. He, uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 4, he comes to blind the mind. So he knows all of this is yours. He knows every place the sole of your foot shall tread upon. He knows it's yours. Uh, let, me give you, let me give you another example. That's all right. We're going we to cut through this. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. Now all these, wait, wait, stay with me. All this is kingdom concepts. It's king because I'm not coming at this from a Western standpoint. I'm coming at this from the standpoint of what Jesus was teaching. And he taught the kingdom. He taught the kingdom. This, this kingdom that he taught, hold it. I had some things here. This kingdom that he taught, I got some time. We're going to cut through this thing. This thing, kingdom that he taught, I'll just put these points down to, to remind myself to give them to you. One, it is a government. Second, it has a king. Third, it has a domain. A domain. Now you look that up. It has a territory. When, when, I, when I was uh, 
giving Lincoln Pulaski as my assignment when I first got to Chicago. That's where I went. I went there. I, a little, uh, they had a little ministry down there at Lincoln Pulaski, which was on the west side of Chicago, which it was shooting. I mean, it was Dodge City. And that's where God directed me. So I went to, uh, and I spoke a message there. I didn't have anywhere else to preach. So they invited me there, 25 people, and God worked miracles. And the person who had the ministry said, God is telling me to turn this ministry over to you. I said, wait a minute, let me check God and see what God is saying about that. I said, God, God said, take it. So I took it. And then not shortly after, we're teaching the word, teaching the kingdom. And a lady breaks in the door and said, where's the pastor? I said, I'm the pastor. She said, uh, <clears throat> she said, the drug dealers have taken over my block. I said, okay. She said, what are you going to do about it? Now understand, drug dealers are operating in my domain. Now, you better come on with me. See, if you don't understand the kingdom, how is the power of the kingdom for the flow? So what happened? I said, okay. I said, get in the circle. Let's pray. Now I got to pray because I got to hear from headquarters. Cause Keith just told you, you can't go out and do something on your own. I'm talking about miracles. Say miracles, say signs and wonders. Say I am made for signs and wonders. So I'm not looking for God to deliver this naturally. I'm not looking for that. The kingdom of God is a supernatural kingdom. And so what happened? She get in the circle, we, we hold hands and pray. I pray in the Holy Ghost. Why? Because the Holy Ghost can help me dip into that well inside of me and pull up wisdom from inside. Say amen to this. And so what happened? I said, God is telling me to give you this bottle of oil. He told me to bless it and have you to pour it down the middle of your street. Now, how did I know that? I could see it. I could, it, it, the words become life. And next thing I know, I gave it to her. Now listen at me, because God's got a wisdom for every situation you've got. He, he, in, in, over in um, John chapter 17, he said, listen, um, as I'm sending you into the world, uh, I'm sending you into that world and understand that Claude Hammersh, uh, I'm going to get it. But, but he is, he is saying, he is saying that I'm not sending you in there for you to get, get killed. I'm not sending you in there for you to get hurt. I'm not sending you in there. I wouldn't be that way. I'm a father. I'm a good father. I'm not going to send you that way. So when I send you in there, I want you to have knowledge of the fact that you've got resources that cannot be seen. You've got resources that cannot be seen. And what has happened is the church for the most part has been like Samson. What is the first thing they did with Samson when they finally got him? They put out his eyes. They got him. No longer did he have revelation. And when you don't have revelation, then people become a victim. And I'm just saying for the people of God, it's revelation. It's, the, the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So what kind of knowledge? Come on, what kind of not, not information? Everybody's got that. The way you're going to dominate the people who have 15 PhDs is through revelation. Yeah. Whoever has revelation is going to be on top. Yeah. I don't care where you go. It doesn't make any difference. So what happened? I, she said, give me the bottle of oil. Give it here. Well, she was eager to get it because when you're desperate, You'll listen to what I'm saying, even when the, it, it sounds kind of foolish. So she took the oil, poured it down the street, came back in three days, said, Pastor, guess what? Well, I knew what? Because of Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It will not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please 
and it will prosper in the thing where unto I sent it. Are you with me here? So what did she do? She followed the instructions of the Holy Ghost, which were given to the prophet. And when she did that, drug dealers came out the next day for one hour and never came back. Notice, I didn't go to the local police. Excuse me, police. I've, popo, I've got something higher than the police. Come on now. I've got an army of angels. Psalm 91, am I right about it? And, 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 and Proverbs chapter four and verse, I think it's seven, he says that the angel of the Lord encamp around about them that fear him and will deliver them. So watch this. So I'm walking, I'm walking down in Lake of Pulaski, that I'm walking there and all these angels are with me. The Holy Ghost is with me. The anointing is on me. I'm talking about you now. I'm talking about wherever you go, you need to start being more mindful of the supernatural. Lord have mercy. Now, as far as you can see, I'm going to give it to you. As far as you can see, he will deliver to you. Am I right about that? Now, yes, go through the Bible and see what happened to people. Second Kings chapter six. Oh, down around verse 16. Here's a young prophet in training, went outside to get the older prophet some some, some coffee <laughs> and looked up and he saw nothing but, but, but Syrian army soldiers. And he said, master, what are we going to do now? Watch what the master said. There be more with us than with them. And what happened? This, these, this army had the nerve to advance to get the prophet. But the prophet said something. Words. Lord, blind them. Every soldier, not one, that that was with this group was without blindness. Blinded every one of them. You still with me? One prophet had access to as many angels as he needed. That's Old Testament. If you're going to work miracles, you've got to be miracle minded. You've got to be mindful of the supernatural and you've got to be more mindful of the supernatural than you are of the natural. You've got to believe that, wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, this man of God came in here Tuesday and told me that I could be a millionaire in a month. Now watch the natural mind take over. Let me see. Now, how can I do that? I can sell some t-shirts and so forth. Are you, you, you follow what I'm saying? No. No, 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 no. With revelation, it not only gives you the end, yes. but it gives you the process. It gives you the strategy. Lord have mercy. All right, let's do this. Let's go to Joshua chapter six. Let me get my old Bible here and see. Joshua chapter six. I know this is the right bunch. See, if, if, if I've got angels that can go out 
and bring me, glory to God, bring me the provision that I need. Or if I've got the anointing of favor on my life, that the favor of God will be on me so that when I ask for something, they will give it up. Are you following what I'm saying? When Esther went into the king's chamber, was she supposed to go in there? No. no. But did she go in there? Yes. Did the king give up half of his kingdom? Yes. No, that didn't get very many kingdoms. Okay. All right, here's what he says. He says this. Now, Jericho was straight up, uh, uh, straightly shut up, straight up. Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, see, underline it, I have given into thy hand, what? Jericho, and the king thereof, and the what? Mighty men of valor. And you shall, notice he given him instructions how to do it. Now all this comes with revelation. <laughs> I'm not going to get off revelation. I'm not going to get, don't just, just, just relax and get ready. Cause I'm going to talk to you about revelation first. Jesus said, Peter, he asked him, who do men say that I am? Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Here's what Jesus said. Flesh and blood has not what? revealed this to you, but my what? Father, which is in heaven. Now don't, don't miss the word. Flesh and blood has not what? Revealed. Say it again. Revealed. Say it again. Revealed. It hot revealed. See, you can't get this knowledge off the blackboard or the whiteboard, whatever it is in school. You got to get it only from the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost can take you up to another level of thinking. Watch this that you can do another level of things in your life. See, God plans for you to take every mountain. He plans for you to take control of economics. Come on, of education. He plans for you to take control of media. Come on, he, he plans for us to be at the top of, of every mountain. And you're not gonna go up without seeing it. You can't go up without revelation knowledge. Lord have mercy. Now Holy Ghost, you're gonna have to help me because I gotta get these people going here. All right, now, now I'm, see, I'm, I'm talking, I can, I want to, I want, I, I got to talk outside of your natural mind because yes, your natural mind can't grab this. Yes, Amen. Right. Come on. He said, my thoughts are not your what? Thoughts. And because of it, my ways are not your what? Ways. Wait, so God's going to have to give me some new thoughts if he wants me to act different. I came to announce to you that this conference is now going to open your eyes. This, this is going to be an eye-opening conference for the people of God. Folks, that enemy is not supposed to dominate the atmosphere with a virus. running the world. God is running the church and the church should be what? Running the world. So I'm here to tell you, he said, well, somebody over here, give me, we got it. Got an iPad. Come in. Then, then come, come here. And, and did I see a hand over? Oh, well, come here with the iPad. If you got an iPad, come here. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Look, at Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19 in the CEV translation. You gonna get this before you before I get up out of here. Now, now I'm, I'm saying this because the enemy put Samson's 
eyes out. When he did, watch this. Samson is now plowing like an ox. Watch this. Making money for the world. Something's wrong with that picture. And I'm saying as long as the enemy can keep revelation away, then he can try to control the world. He can, uh, through the church, he can try to control the church. But those days are over. I said those days are over. Have you got it? Okay, he's got it. All right. Uh, that I have here. Here's a microphone. Uh, no, uh, I thought one's here. But that's okay. He's got one. Come on. Praise God. Amen. Okay. Read this in the C E V. It's not. It's, it's not getting it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's somebody. There's somebody. She's coming to us right here. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Sixteen and one. Okay. Uh, C E V. Yes. Matthew, chapter nineteen, chapter sixteen, and verse nineteen. I'm gonna take my time. Y'all ain't gonna rush me. I'm, I'm gonna take my time. Okay, go ahead. I will give you the give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and God in heaven will allow what's whatever you allow on earth. Keep going. But He will not allow anything you don't allow. Now read it again. You can't read it one time. You can't read it one time. Whoever had I will that give text, you. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, hold it. Whoever had that, come on up here again. You came up here and, and read to me the King James version of Psalm 62 and verse 11. Come on, come on, come on back up. Come on back up. All right. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Read it read, again. Read it again. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And we are, all this is in reference to the kingdom because that's all Jesus gave reference to. That's right. He didn't give reference to any of the cultures or anything like that. He's not talking about that. Right. All this comes through the kingdom yes. and a kingdom concept. Yes. All right, look, say it again. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven and God in heaven will allow whatever you allow on earth. One more time. I will give you the kingdom of heaven. Uh, no, no, no. The keys to the kingdom. The keys to the kingdom of heaven. Yes, indeed. And God in heaven. God in heaven. Will allow whatever. Will allow. Whatever. Whatever. You allow on earth. You allow on earth. On earth. Is this pandemic thing on earth? Yeah. Now he said he will allow. Do you believe God can clean up a pandemic? Do you and clean it up in one day. Now I'm trying to get you to see this because we haven't been miracle minded. We haven't been, miracles are not hocus pocus. They're not magic, they're laws. And God is saying, hey, wait a second. You believe me for that and you will get delivered that. Cause part of your inheritance is this terra firma. It's the earth itself. This is your domain. This doesn't belong to the devil or the devil's children. It belongs to you. And he's holding it only because the people of God don't have revelation of what they own. Read it one more time. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven and God in heaven will allow, and God in heaven will allow whatever you allow on earth. Mm. But He will not allow anything you don't allow. Bless you. Bless you. Come on over. He's going to read Psalm sixty-two and verse eleven. God had spoken once. Mm. Twice have I heard this. Stop right there. God, say it again. Say it again. God had spoken once. God has spoken once. Twice have I heard Twice this. Twice have I heard. The first time was information. Yes. 
But the next time was revelation. Are you following what I'm saying? God bless you. Hold it. Wait a minute. I got two. Okay. That's one. Okay. Bless you. All right. Now you with me. Now, what am I saying? Just hold on to that. What am I saying to you? I'm saying, wait a minute. Hold on. That devil is not supposed. Do you agree that the pandemic is a curse? Yes. Have you been redeemed from the curse? Yes. And according to the way Jesus ministered, everywhere he went, he took, he took dominion over the curse. Because yes. he's taken you back to Eden. God is saying, I'm giving you dominion over the fish of the sea. Come on. Over the fowl of the air. Come on. Over the cattle and over all the earth. <laughs> Folks, the church has no business being pitied. The church should be honored. Wow, look what you've got. Look what's in you. The Bible says in Luke 12, the whole kingdom is in you. In Luke chapter 17 and verse 21, he said, show us the kingdom. He said, wait a minute. The kingdom of God is not in meat and drink or the kingdom of God is within you. And I'm saying, how powerful is that kingdom? He says over in Psalm 103 and verse 19 that the kingdom of God rules over everything. Lord have mercy, come on. This should be the church's finest hour. Copeland and I stood on that platform in England and, and he was speaking right after me and he said, Bill, Bill, come back out here. I had just finished speaking and he took my hand. I took his hand and he cursed that Ebola at the root. Cursed that thing. And if two on earth, uh, come on, come on. If two on earth, David didn't run from Goliath. Which way did he run? He ran to him because he knew greater is he that is. Now, here's where you got to go. You got to go from striking the rock to speaking to it. We got to understand the value of our words. If you believe it and decree it, it shall be done. shall be done. Jesus is the king of who? Yes. A king rules by decree. He doesn't move. He sits right there on that throne and say off with his head. And that is it. Nobody questions it. Come on now. It, the Bible is full of this, but the secret is in the kingdom that I got to come back to being kingdom minded. I got to come back and say, wait, 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 wait a minute. Where is the kingdom? It's in me. But well, what is the kingdom going to do in me? It's going to provide for me everything I need independent of what's going on around me. It'll provide me with wisdom. It'll provide me with food. It'll provide, look at Jesus ministering to the people who were maimed. Now, why am I saying this? Because before I believe our generation leaves, we're going to be putting on arms and legs and eyes and hair and They brought to Jesus those who were blind and lame and maimed and so forth and threw them at his feet. And notice every one of them got healed. The blind received sight. The lame began to walk. The maimed were made whole. I'm talking about...
about people who might have been in war and lost their limb or diabetes and had a leg cut off. I got good news for you. They're looking for the child of God because in the last days, we're going to be the most popular people on the face of this planet. No, 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 no. If thou can believe, if thou can believe, if thou can believe, all things are possible. And, and check this out. Believing is seeing. See, that's, that's, you're, you're not designed to believe what you can't see. So God, the Holy Spirit shows it to you so you can believe. And once you believe, the deal is over. He asked the lepers, oh, the, the th th three or four blind men or whoever, two blind men, he said, do you believe I'm able to do this? They said, what? Yes, Lord. He said, then according to your faith, be it unto you. Boom! Eyes are open. Lord, have mercy. Come on, how about blind Bartimaeus sitting by the wayside begging? He was a beggar, blind and begging. And notice Jesus came by. He said, who's there? And they said, it's Jesus. He said, Jesus? He had heard about him. Jesus? 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 Watch this. And they came over to him and said, shh, we in church, man. Shh. Watch this. And he cried, what? Louder. Because revelation brings a revolution, man. They can't shut you up. When you can see your healing, they, I don't care if you're limping, they can't shut you up. Oh, man. I didn't know the time had gone by that much. <laughs> now, what am I saying to you? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get this word. We're going to get these tapes, all these people preaching. We're going to not play it one time. We're going to play it two times, maybe three times. Come on. I played it five times. But what happened? It's dropping from my head, come on, down into my heart. And when it gets into your heart, let me tell you, you become hard to handle.